little while ago that I'd make a video showing how I made this necktie and a few people have been asking where that video is. I kind of forgot about it. So <laughs> here's a really short video of how I made this necktie. Now this is a slightly different style necktie to the standard neckerchief that you see that's just a square with hemmed edges that you fold into a triangle and tie around your neck. You probably don't need me to show you how to do that. So where's this style come from? Well about five years ago there was this Etsy business called Lady Ties that made ties like this which this along with some Korean fashion outfit inspirations that I found on Pinterest is the inspiration for the type of necktie style we're going to be making in this video. So I use scrap fabrics for this because it doesn't use up much fabric. So from my scrap box I pulled out this light green gingham fabric. A remnant you might remember from this top. This is the fabric we're going to use for this video. So what I did first was to cut out a narrow rectangle from this fabric that is 4 by 32 inches. I also cut out some lightweight woven fusible interfacing of the exact same dimensions as the fabric. Because the gingham is lightweight this will make the necktie a little bit stiff giving it good shape when worn and it will also stop the fabric twisting when we sew it into a tube in a second. I layered the interfacing on top, adhesive side facing the wrong side of the main fabric and I ironed the fusible interfacing to the fabric. Then with this piece right sides up I folded it lengthways like this right sides together. I clipped it in place all the way along the two edges and then I sewed this into a tube like this with a straight stitch and a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. I then cut some of the seam allowance away with some pinking shears just because this fabric frays really easily. If your fabric doesn't fray really easily, you don't need to do this. And then I pulled the tube the right way around, which just by the way is easier if you use a bodkin or a loop turner or even put a safety pin at one end to help you pull the other end through. I can't remember why I didn't choose to use any of those techniques here myself, but hey, it is possible to turn a long tube without using any extra equipment. It just takes a little bit of time. With it turned the right way around, I gave it a good press with my iron making sure the seam stayed on one side of the tube and didn't twist around. If you are using a lightweight fabric like I am here, the tube can be prone to twisting, so this is an important step. Now I have a flat tube, it's time to shape the ends and make them angled. So I cut off both ends of the tube at a roughly 45 degree angle like this. To make it even on both sides, once I'd cut one end off, I folded this up over the other uncut end, and then I used it as a kind of template to make the same angle of cut. Then I folded the raw edges at the angle end of the tube inside itself about half an inch. This can be a little bit finicky to ensure that you fold it in evenly because you want to maintain the angled edge there, so take your time. Because of the angle of that cut, there will probably be a little bit sticking out. Don't worry, we'll cut that off later. When I was happy with how this was looking, I clipped the end in place. Next, I sewed over it with a straight stitch one quarter of an inch from the edge like this. Then I cut off that little end of fabric that stuck out like this. And that's the tie done. Now there's a few ways this necktie can be worn. You can just tie it in a knot, although it can be hard to undo this knot. I know from experience, so I would advise to instead do one of the following. Find a small ring, it can be metal or recycled from a plastic container, about half an inch diameter is good. What you do is match up the pointy ends of the tie and slip the ring over the top and then pull the ends through. You can also attach a press stud or a button in the middle of the tie here to hold the two ends together. You can also make a small fabric loop to hold the ends together, like this. To do that, cut a piece of fabric 4 by 2.5 inches, fold it in half lengthways right sides together and sew up this edge with a quarter inch seam allowance. Then turn this tube right sides out, then iron it much like we ironed the tie at this point. Then fold the tube in half again like this and sew across here. Cut the seam allowance with pinking shears or a zigzag stitch over that raw edge of the seam to prevent fraying. Then turn this fabric ring right sides out. And you now have this to hold the necktie in place. So I made another one of these from Scrap Fabrics, which I actually ended up wearing a lot more because I just tend to wear pink a lot more in outfits. So here's some examples of how I wore that in some outfits. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial and I'll see you all for my next video. Stay crafty everyone.
Thank you so much to the 600 Patreon supporters, the superhuman producers, and the small brands who are all a huge reason that I can make these videos available to hundreds of thousands of you for free. If you've learned lots from my videos, or if it's just the kind of stuff you want to see more of in the world, then vote with your dollars and consider supporting me on patreon.com forward slash Annika Victoria as a member, or for a one-off contribution, go to co-fi.com forward slash Annika Victoria. Your support means the world.